Hey guys, here with another Android video. In this video, I want to share with you guys a new update that has been given to a cloud service app that was once called SkyDrive, now is called OneDrive. Uh, this is from Microsoft. Uh, they just updated a couple days ago to the new name and they also added some new features like for example auto backup to the cloud uh, which is very very cool if you have windows and you have android phones this is going to be perfect for you because you're going to be able to have all your documents available wherever you go like you see right here once you sign into your um, windows or microsoft account uh, you're going to see all your folders that you have in your SkyDrive or now, which is OneDrive, in your computer. You're going to have it visible here on your phone. Um, one thing that they changed, let's go here to the settings. Here in settings, you're going to be able to see your storage. Like, for example, I have 228. And... Right now I have available 225 gigabytes. Um, when you install this for the first time and log in automatically, if you never used this before, you're gonna have seven gigabytes for free. And the great thing they added this time is that if you turn on this feature, camera backup, if you turn it on, you automatically gonna get three more gigabytes. So that's 10 gigabytes for free a month, which is God damn great, that's good, 10 gigabytes for free. Um, here, when you go here, you could either choose to um, upload or download your photos original size or resized. I left it as original, but you can leave it as resized if you want. Uh, that's the way it is by default. Um, you also have here that says use Office Mobile. Right now, there's no Office Mobile installed on this phone, so I can't use it right now. And that's it. Basically, it's very, very self-explanatory. They did a very good job making this app um, feel simple and actually very, very effective. Um, here, you got the options to upload um, it, uh, images and for and videos or upload files um, if you click right here you can create folders inside the OneDrive uh, any folder that you create here it will be already visible in your computer which is very very good that you could do that from your phone here you go click there it automatically refreshes everything with the new files that you already up updated uploaded if you click here you can change the way that you view your OneDrive I click like that because I like the way the tiles look. Um, like I said, these are folders. If I click on one of them, that's empty. If I click here in pictures, like you see right there, you can see my pictures. These are the pictures that has been uploaded from my phone. And I honestly, I recommend if you're not using a, 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 a self backup um, service, I recommend downloading this app. Um, give it a try it's totally free to try and if you turn on the, the cloud service uh, automatically cloud service you're gonna get um, three more gigabytes which is gonna be 10 gigabytes for free also if you need more storage the plans that they have happen to be very very reasonable I also think they they change the plans prices as well because for example right now you get uh, you can add from the free gigabytes you have you can add 50 more gigabytes and you just pay $25 a year which is a little bit over $2 a month with not bad also if you need a hundred gigabytes you could pay $50 a year which is a little bit over I think it's like four ten four dollars and ten cents something like that a month which is Pretty, pretty reasonable and of course they have more uh, the 200 gigabytes and right now the prices that you see here are cheaper than um, Dropbox which is one of my favorite um, cloud service fee uh, services that I use for comparing the price to Dropbox for example Dropbox charges you uh, $10 for a hundred gigabytes or $99 for a hundred gigabytes yearly uh, which is if you pay like that it's a, a little bit over $8 but like you see right here, for 100 gigabytes, you're paying $10 a month if you want to pay a monthly basis. And here you're usually actually paying for the same amount, 100 gigabyte plus whatever you get free. So that means you'll get like 110 gigabytes uh, for $50 only, which is a little bit over $4 a month. So honestly, I think they did a great job. Um, on Microsoft, I think they did a great job with the 
with the upgrading the services, I think they're going to in the right direction. Uh, and this is totally beneficial to those that have um, Android phones or tablets, because remember, this also works in tablets and also has personal computers as Windows PC. So this is perfect. And of course, this also works with um, Apple if you have Mac uh, and you still happen to use um, 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 SkyDrive or OneDrive in your Mac, that's totally possible too. You will be able to use this feature as well. So um, that's it guys, uh, just had to share this uh, just to let you guys know that you can right now at this moment get 10 gigabytes for free by just turning on the automatically backup. And remember the automatically backup only here occurs when you're on Wi-Fi. There is no option. There is no option to um, upload or backup to um, using the, your data services. But from I've heard it only backs up while you're on Wi-Fi. So once you're on Wi-Fi, once you take a picture, it will automatically send the picture to your uh, cloud service, which is freaking awesome. So that, guys, that's it. This is, uh, this is it for the video. Thanks for watching. Till next time.